When we talk about oxidation states of metals, um, a lot of the transition metals are very nicely colored compounds, make very nicely colored compounds. Iron is one of those that students don't have a lot of experience with the different colors. There's an iron compound that's red or rust colored, which is iron oxide, and that's what students think of as iron color. Iron color is rusty. Well, I like this lab because it shows different oxidation states of iron and shows some different colors we can get. Um, we're going to start with two different oxidation states of iron. I've got some test tubes uh, on the left which are going to have iron 2 plus compounds in them, which is an iron sulfate solution, iron 2 plus sulfate or ferrous sulfate. So I'm just going to put uh, about 20 milliliters in each. Okay. Now, since volume isn't that important, I'm just going to now pour them so that they're about the same level. Good enough? Nope, not quite. Okay, and we can see that the iron 2 plus ion, when it's all by itself, is fairly colorless. On the other side, I'm going to put iron 3 plus, or iron 3 sulfate, ferric sulfate, and I'm going to put about the same amount in there. Okay. And we can see that the iron 3 ions make kind of that rusty colored solution. Okay. We can talk about the two different oxidation states of the iron. Okay. No, those aren't even close. Okay. All right. So we have our two different oxidation states of iron. Um, at this point, if you want to bring up the, uh, the electron configuration of iron, metal and iron ions, you can. The iron ions have lost their 2s electrons. The iron 2 plus has lost their 2s electrons and the iron 3 plus have lost two of the s electrons and one of the d electrons. What we have here though, if we let this sit long enough, the iron 2 plus is going to oxidize to iron 3 plus and we don't want that so we're going to try to work fairly quickly here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add some things to complex with the iron ions that are in there. So, in test tube number one, which I'm going to move to the middle here so we can have some comparison, I have already my iron 2 sulfate and I have my iron 3 sulfate in test tube number four, so we're looking at the two in the middle here. And to those, I'm going to add some potassium ferrocyanide. Now, ferrocyanide says that there are two plus ions, two plus iron ions, attached to a cyanide in a complex ion formation. So if I add five drops, now this is two plus iron, one, two, three, four, five, I'm getting kind of a, a blue there, okay, and that blue precipitate is the iron hexacyanide complex ion. If I add it to the 3 plus iron, okay, let me give those a little swirl, I get what's called the Prussian blue color. So let's go to the board and see what's happening here. Okay, the Prussian blue color comes from this compound right here, which is a complex ion of iron and six cyanides attached to another iron ion. And this iron ion was the three plus ion. So we have a total of four three plus ions, giving us 12 positives. So this complex ion, the three complex ions have to be 12 negatives to make up for that. 
So let's try to figure out what the oxidation state of the iron is here. We have cyanide, which is negative 1. There are 6 of them, so that's 6 minuses. We have an iron in here. And the total of 3 of those has to cancel the 12 pluses from the iron over here. That makes this iron in the 2 plus state. So what we have is we have a 3 plus iron and a 2 plus iron in the same compound. And this 2 plus iron or ferrous ion attached to our 6 cyanides makes that complex ion which gives us the Prussian blue. So back to our test tubes, the Prussian blue color that we're getting is when we have both ions mixed together in the solution. So let's see what else we can do with this. I'm going to take two more test tubes with my iron 2 and my iron 3. The iron 2, which is the colorless, I'm going to add now potassium ferricyanide. And potassium ferricyanide is the 3 plus ion. It's a little bit yellow. I'm going to add my iron 3 plus oxidation state to my iron 2 plus oxidation state and once again I get that beautiful blue color. So now I know there that I have both oxidation states of iron present. But what happens if I add the ferricyanide which is the 3 plus oxidation state to the test tube that already has iron 3 plus in it? Okay. No color change. Eh, maybe a little bit of blue. There might be a little bit of the 2 plus in there, but essentially we get no color change because we, have a, we don't have that hexacyanide, uh, cyanate complex ion in the solution. So the Prussian blue is going to be when both iron oxidation states are present. Okay. Now, another test we can do to see which iron uh, ions we have is to use a thiocyanate. So I have here potassium thiocyanate. And if I put the potassium thiocyanate with the colorless Fe2+, we're going to get, oh, maybe a little bit of orange, okay? A little bit of oxidation of the 2 plus to a 3 plus. But when I put the thiocyanate with the 3 plus ion, I get that classic blood red color of iron thiocyanate. Okay. Now, why are we doing this? We're showing that the different oxidation states of iron produce different colors depending on the complex ion they're in formation with. Over on the board again, I have the formula for the blood red iron thiocyanate, which is the Fe3 plus ion. This does not work with the Fe2 plus ion. We do not get the blood red. So this is a test for iron 3 plus ions. Once the students have seen this demonstration and seen what the color changes of iron are, now they have a new set of colors to add to their repertoire and they know that iron isn't just rust, that iron compounds aren't just rust. And now I can send them back to the lab. I would do this for the advanced students. I would give them an unknown solution with either the iron 2 plus ion or the iron 3 plus ion, not both. And I would, or, or perhaps both, I'm sorry. And I would have them do these tests to confirm which ions they had present. Um, I like it because it's more colors and it's colors they don't expect. I know uh, first time I saw the Prussian blue from iron, I was totally amazed because I always thought that iron was just rusty. So it's just another way to introduce oxidation states, to talk about iron, and to give them uh, another lab to do with colors in it.